She waited several days for a slow news cycle and then held a press conference and decided to paint a fragile 21 year old as a monster to the entire world. Further traumatizing her. It also happens not to be true. When the facts come out, it will be clear that these two young individuals were very needy emotionally and were involved in a relationship that became a toxic blend of fear, anger, need, and love. They simultaneously navigated pressures that every day post adolescence encounter from their families, their friends, social media, college life, and all the things that young people face on a daily basis. And they live their lives entirely on the phone in a way that many of us who are older find it hard to believe or understand. Now, suicide is always sad. It's always mysterious. And it's always tragic. No one can know to a moral certainty why someone decides to take their own life. But to further punish the young woman who loved this man would only compound the tragedy that already exists and will further tarnish the memory of that young man. All of us, including in young you, mourn the death of Alexander Petula. But we should be better. We should be finding ways to help young people in these situations instead of prosecuting them. I find it unfathomable that this DA's office, this so-called progressive DA's office, in an attempt to grab headlines, is expanding and broadening the homicide laws to try to apply it to this case, in this scenario, to paint an incendiary portrait of an innocent young woman when there are literally thousands of violent crime cases in this city alone with true victims that are going unsolved. Could you 